Hey guys, um, just doing a quick vid on an ALR projector screen for this baby. This is a uh, TW8400, which is the European, Australian, where I am, model in the States. It's a UB5050, very popular model. Um, so yeah, I've set a garage up as a uh, media room slash golf simulator room and uh yeah i'm just gonna paint it on this wall so i've spent oh days getting this flat getting this smick still looks pretty good just with the white but i'm gonna show you a mix that i got off uh some of the avs forums of a guy named uh, mississippi man i haven't seen a video on anyone spraying it or anyone mixing it or so i'm just gonna do one myself so I'm going to have to mask, obviously, off around it so I don't get overspray everywhere. But, um, yeah, this wall, bit of background, I decided to just chip rock over brick because it was a garage. And then I actually did try painting, painting the wall in a mix a couple of years ago, which worked pretty good. That's why I'm going to do it again, but... It shows the imperfections up, so you've got to get it pretty spot on. So I've spent the last week trying to get this wall perfect. Now I've got it pretty perfect, but um, I'll just show you. I'll use a torch. Maybe drop the brightness down a bit. It's a bit bright. And if you want to get a real good good look at it, you put the torch on an angle and you can kind of see if there's any imperfections. So as you can see there, it's not completely flat, but hopefully I haven't sprayed any white. This is just uh, level 5 jip rock finish. It's kind of like a, a level 5 uh, to get it flat, like a levelling compound. So it's got it. I've got it pretty good, as you can see. It's pretty. I've spent a lot of time because it was way out. It's a bit there. Probably have to sand that off. But yeah, I'll um. I'll get. I'll show you what I used. I use that stuff. This is in Australia. The, it's hard to get stuff in Australia. In America, there's everything. So the boys in America will know. <clears throat> so I'll show you the mix that I'm going to use. So once I, once I set my mix up, I'm going to use just the white spray to practice with my gun. But yeah, I'll, I'll put the details of, of the mills. And I'm, I'll probably put them in... I'll put them in ounces as well for the American boys but um yeah so I'm going to use some white pearl this is a metallic paint I could uh, in America you can get I think it's called rust-oleum white pearl a lot of people know about it I think over there but I couldn't get it in Australia so I'm using this decor arts so I'm going to use a mixture of that A mixture of shimmer and silver. I'm going to use polyurethane, water-based. This is a uh, a mat. You got to use mat. So you've mixed those three. Then I'm going to add. This is the whitest, flattest paint I could find. So this you can't get this at Bunnings or. Bunnings is like a, um, I think it's like a Walmart in America. I couldn't get that, so this was expensive. It was 90 bucks. These are about <clears throat> 5 bucks each. And you need to strain the paint. So I've got some paint straining bags. They're pretty fine, as you can see. So that's to make the gun work. Now, I couldn't find a gun. You need a, a gun with a, a mill tip. Now, I've got an old Wagner. Well, it's not that old, but 
I think they've got an ultra fine finish Wagner, but I could not find the tip, and I couldn't get that model in Australia anyway. And they wouldn't tell me the size of the tip, so I went on Amazon and I got that. And what I've done, this is a 1.2 mil tip. This is the gun. I haven't used it yet. So it's a, I don't know, it's Chinese off Amazon. It was only like 35 bucks, but that's a 1.2 mil tip. I've actually glued, I've actually cut, cut my old gun. I've cut that off. Bit of a dodgy cut, but I cleaned it up. And I've put it on there. So now I can fit it to my Wagner. And it fits perfect. So that's that's going to be fun seeing if that actually works. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to buy another gun. Uh, in America, uh, they, they reckon use a uh, HV2901 Erlix. I think it's called Erlix, the brand. Um, yeah, they uh, Plasti Dip took the rights for that gun, so you can get that gun from Plasti Dip. Anyway, I've got... Once I paint it, I've got this two-inch felt that I'm going to get a nice clean line around. And then I'm going to paint the rest black, like my roof. Little tip for you. I just used outdoor paint, so I didn't have to prime it. And I just sprayed it. <laughs> same same stuff, just with no priming. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll start getting set up. And I'll show you how I go.